What do you think it is that I mean, there may not be a good answer for this, but what do you think it is that, that attracts you to young adult suspense? Because uh, I know you've written adult suspense a, a, as well, but there's there's vampires, there's there's some kind of suspense element in your work. What do you think it is that that, that compels you? Um. Okay, well, my husband will call me and, and has called me um, a mystery slut. <laughs> I hope that's okay to say. Um, what that basically means is if it's a mystery, I will read it, I will watch it, I will devour it. Um, there's just something that very much draws me to, um, to mystery and I think a sense of justice. I like to see justice delivered. I like to, to it makes me um, feel that all is right with the world. It makes me... Um, Feel that karma is working, that um, it, it makes me um, kind of reset to center, I guess, is, is, is what it is. So it's not so much that I like people in horrible situations, so much as that I like when those situations are resolved. I like to feel that, um, that the person responsible is, um, is caught. I like, it's not so much that I like the horrible deeds so much as that I like um, the chase and the puzzle and the mystery and the resolution um, gives me a satisfaction that I, I really feel. Um, and as far as for young adult, I feel like that is such a, um, a dramatic and intense time in our lives. But also for a lot of us, that is the time when um, uh, real adversity strikes, real um, things that will have an effect on us for the rest of our lives um, hit us, whether it is something that is really traumatic. A lot of, for, for a lot of us, I, for me, I know um, it was in my young adult life that um, some traumatic events um, hit, which is probably why um, I know that um, teens face um, trauma, face intensity. Um, why some might be, well, how can you put teens in these tense, intense situations? To which my answer is, do you think they're not in intense situations? Do you think that just because we don't talk about things, teens aren't going through things? Um, I don't think that not talking about things um, helps anybody. All it does is make people feel alone in what they're going through, um, make them think that they can't talk about it, that, that nobody has been through it before, make them feel isolated in in what they go through. Um, but um, going back to it, I think that, that that is a time in our lives when we are going through very, very intense things. And I think that um, bringing that out um, and, and dealing with it and bringing p characters through that and to the other side is something that is important to me. Um, and it is, um, I guess, very dear to me. So hopefully when the teens who are going through whatever adversity they're facing, you know, if they read these books, they're going to feel less alone. They're going to, I find when I read um, or, or either history uh, or a horror story, because history is a horror story. Um, if uh, if I'm reading about someone whose situation is much worse than mine, especially during uh, quarantine and, and then the 12 of 2020, if I could find a good horror story that took my mind off it, like, well, okay, this is pretty bad, but it's not nearly that bad. <laughs> I think that's why horror has been so popular during, um, you know, during quarantine, during COVID. It's really interesting. Um, publishing trends, it's either been um, heartwarming, like heartfelt, like happier, you know, um, cheer, more cheerful reads, like, um, you know, almost cozy fantasy is, is a, a, a phrase that's been coined more during, or well, not, not more, it's been almost coined during, um, COVID. Um, so that's a trend we've been seeing, or people have been going back to old favorites, especially early on during COVID. Um, people are just going to their own bookshelves, going to old favorites that they knew um, didn't hold any tension or surprises for them. Um, so that was something that was going on. Um, or, um, or horror, you know, where, like you said, it was, um, sure, we're in bad times, but it's not that bad. Um, and so the comparison um, or the catharsis of horror um, was, uh, you know, and, and I, I find I've been reading a lot of horror recently as well. So um, it's, it's very interesting, those two different paths, and they're not necessarily divergent. I've been wearing, uh, uh, wearing I've been reading um, 
and watching a lot of rom-coms and things like that, but also horror. So you can do both. There's no reason that you have to choose one path. Oh, sure. Yeah, no, a little, little bit of everything. Variety is the spice of life and all that. Right, exactly. <laughs> And I would love it if just for, I don't know, for a week or for whatever, you changed your manuscript uh, wish list page and just put mystery slut. And that's that's all we need to know about what you're looking for. Oh, I can't even imagine the weird the weird material I would get then, though. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> yeah, this is probably a bad idea. 